All right, this is a fun little project we've been working on here. This is my little personal titanium, uh, ultra lightweight, single cylinder Kramer that I've started. And just to kind of show you a few of the little pieces. So uh, Kramer is a really cool company out of Germany. And what you can do is buy a single cylinder KTM uh, 690, which is right at my favorite motor to use. 75 horsepower, ultra light. We're gonna try to get this thing down to 250 pounds and about 95 horse out of one big thumper. So you can race these in some of the Arma classes um, and it's really a killer little kit by it. They move the gas tank under the seat for better weight transfer. Um, it comes with its tail already. This is their older gen swing arm. I'm hoping to update that to a new one. We got sick Metzler race tech tires. These things are killer. Um, and so the whole point is that we're gonna take a lot of titanium. Like here's, here's a titanium plate. This is quarter inch. This is gonna eventually become the sprocket. If you roll around this opposite side, you can see we've already done a mock-up. So that's our mock-up sprocket. And then another thing we want to do is print titanium, which we've done on a 2029 bike. If you look that up, there's uh, this is kind of an example print of a piece that we did, literally printed titanium. So our, our goal is to be able to print quite a few titanium parts on this thing, as well as we want to remake the frame out of tie using Kramer's geometry, which is nice because it's our, we already know that it's set up for racing. Uh, oh, almost forgot. Rotor. We've taken these little buttons, like Ducati buttons, uh, for floating, and we've cut our own rotor out of titanium. The center's out of tie, and I don't know the exact weight, but very, very light. So, anyway, a little shout out to uh, TMS Titanium Metal Supply. They were nice enough to help us get some of these parts, and they really kind of helped educate me on which grade of titanium to use, um, how the titanium is not hard to, to work with. It is, you know, technical, it's slow, it's expensive, but at the end of the day, if you're a competent fabricator, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to work with titanium. But you've gotta do the research, you gotta make sure that you're doing it properly uh, because the stuff does have very specific kind of uh, techniques and specifications you need to use to work with. But, Anyway, hope you like it. Keep checking back at Fuller Moto for more progress, and we'll see you next time.